this is Skyrim Special Edition featuring the Vigilant Mod. Oh, there he goes again. Now, we are only crouched because that's where we left off in the last episode. I'm sure you remember. Right? Right. Oh, can I get up there? Probably wouldn't be worth it anyway. Regardless, we now need to go this way and, well, basically finish. What happened to all of my sneak? Seriously. Put this in health. Where? What happened to all of my sneak? I shouldn't be... I have sneak 100. How am I still visible at that distance to these enemies? Anyway. Now there's a guy walking around here who stops here. There he is. Garden these. I got the gardener's key. Don't I already have that? Gardener. GGGG. Yep. You know I paid good money for something that you just gave me for free, right? Not bad, actually. It's heavy armor, though, and we don't wear those. Oh, that helmet is really nice, and the gardener show tell. Give 10 points of extra damage when the enemy is blocking. Of course I'm overweight. Where are we? Can't return here easily. Also, I have the red cat ring on. I need to take that off. I only use that to deal with the giants. Because otherwise, they pretty much one-shot me. So I say fair is fair. Granted, I am carrying a whole lot of heavy armor, aren't I? <sighs> Can I get back here? No, not quickly. Definitely not. But based on these, there should be somewhere... Should be a new location in this area that'll pop up out that I'll be able to warp back to. For now, we'll just have to suck down potions of strength. And hope against hope that there is no one else for us to. Well, that there won't be future corpses for us to ransack. What are you. You know what? I'm not even mad. Kinareth. Kinareth. If you're going to do... I don't even... He actually picked this up. I'm going to go ahead and take that and then promptly put it on the ground where it belongs. But first, I'm actually going to give you something interesting. I don't think these actually have...
Tyrannus is bastard. Oh, yeah. That doesn't do anything. So we'll go ahead and give him this. Since we have plenty of them. I'll just take it from him when I'm done. He's not even going to use it, is he? And it's not like the weapon's power, or art as it's called, actually deals any damage to yourself, so there's no real reason for him not to use it. But he's equipped his bow for now. Where exactly does this go? Always keeping an eye out for treasure. Bridge to the Inquisition Inquisition Court. Oh. 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 Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll hold off on that. Get up here and deal with this guy. Wow, he's down already? Disappointing. You can deal with this at least, right? No. Get backhanded, kid. Anyway. Kinareth. Kinareth's wind is blowing. Her breath is reaching even across this wasteland. Trying to keep an eye out for any discolored chests. Really? So now I can't even sit, you dick. There we go. Tree rings. Caster receives 10 layers of tough plant skin, each increasing maximum health by 16 points for a total of 160. Layers gradually fall off over the course of 30 seconds. You can keep that garbage. Nice. Oh, also the broken sword that we got from Pelinol, or once we entered his memory. The Blood of LeMay. Blood of LeMay, right? I remember when we went into his memory, we got the Blood of LeMay. Or it was added and reduced weapon skills. Really? God dang it. At least I know. Anyway, we picked up, or we should have picked up here, Blood of LeMay for health regener regeneration. Okay, so that's that's what we got from that. Also, as I was saying, we got his broken sword, which has an actually decent ability. Also, it looks really cool. It's if you've seen what's the name of that freaking anime? Um, the Fate Stay Night, I think it was how um the i don't remember the character's name alice was it or something like that anyway the one whose sword was invisible it's basically like that it's a really cool effect and i like it 
actually, isn't it its, its ability Kind's Wind or something like that? It gives you like a frost cloak and makes you move faster. It also grants another effect. I don't, I didn't, I couldn't figure out what it was because I didn't come here to look. Anyway. Right, we need to cure the rock joint so we can punch harder. Rock joint, rock joint. That should get rid of old rock joint. Also, we do need to go back. Use another... Why are you traveling like that? I'm not crouched. Kinareth. Kinareth's wind is blowing. Her breath is reaching Why even across this like wasteland. That? Even weak paralysis is better than no paralysis. Oh. Why is he crouched? Why are you crouched? Kinareth's wind is blowing. Will you stop it if I take it away? No. He's permanently crouched and it's awkward. Okay, I'm going to go all the way back to the Priory and get some of this junk out of my pockets. I'm going to come right back, though. So, I'll see you then. And welcome back. You know what I really hate about this game? I hate that it's so easy to lose track of time. Also, we got rid of Borlor. As you could probably see... Hmm. As you can probably tell by just looking at his weapon. He no longer has that big sexy anvil. That's because I took it from him and now have it in my possession. Uh, here we go. If the target is killed with this weapon, that target drops more money. I don't know how much more it drops. It causes them to drop. Also, I made some more fists. I... What's the word? I broke down one of the Dawn Spears that we got from Pelinol's memory. Because, mostly because it only just occurred to me. But mostly because having given it, given it to Borlor, his use of it caused it, it to... its charges to be used. And so it was separated from the other one, of which there were two in my inventory. It was separated from the other one. <clears throat> I really have, I really do have to remember to keep duplicates of these unique weapons so I can take their effects. Anyway, I took the effect from it and applied it to a fist. Uh, it is called Death to the Dead. And it burns the target for 14 points. And when killing an undead, there's a chance to cause a fiery explosion that turns or destroys nearby undead, thereby bringing death to them. And, again, that comes from this weapon. Now, having taken, having taken this poor guy's, I'm going to have to remember his name, Ralvis, having taken Sir Ralvis's weapon from him, I needed to give him something, right? I couldn't just leave him in the Priory with his back naked. So, I gave him this. The hentai monster weapon. Oh, 
And you better believe I want this back. Oh, I want it back. Anyway, I saw this guy, so he has to be killed. Well, that's done. Elixir of Illusion. I'll take it, though. And Circle of Death. Circle instantly kills living targets below 40 health. 40% health. And Death Howl. Howls of the Dead reduce the health of targets in the area by 400 points. This health is restored after 60 seconds. Oh, they won't live long enough to see that happen. I like it. Poor thing broke her ankles. Well, we came all the way out here just so we could have a marker on the map to return to. Let's get this out of here. Actually, hold on. I might want to use this. I'm looking for another second room to use instead of the one we have. So there are no other useful or interesting second rooms. Eh, whatever. So let's see. <clears throat> right, 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 right. Okay, we have. What do we even have equipped? We have Fist, which I broke down a weapon earlier in the mod's lifespan playthrough. Anyway, earlier I broke down a weapon that had Stagger on it, but it comes from a mod where the way they're applied to weapons doesn't allow them to be disenchanted and then reapplied onto a new weapon. So it sort of makes the new weapon worthless. Hmm. Death to the Dead, however, will work. Where is that other door we saw? This way, right? I remember running this way. That's a giant spider. Oh, even worse, it's a uh, an, uh, an arachne, I believe the term is. Let's do this. Excuse me, miss. Oh. You had to be one of those, didn't you? You couldn't just be nice. Anyway. I also want to test out the uh, Zenithar's Anvil. I remembered the name just before I saw it. I know how to get to you. How much more money does he have on him now? 65 isn't bad. 
What I'd really like to do is strip this god dang enchantment off this weapon. But it also has a weapon art, so I'm a little hesitant to do so. I can afford to quick save here. This guy isn't a threat. <laughs> and then watch me get one shot from 100 HP. Oh, 100% HP. Come on. One more. I'm bad at this. Hmm. Only ten, huh? I was hoping that it would be 65 or something close every single time, but apparently not. Inquisition Court District Key. Oh, it's Pepe. I was about to ring your freaking bell, buddy. This place is full of memories. I can see the images of days pass in my mind. <sighs> but everything is lost now. Where did I go wrong? When I burned Mary? Or killed that Salode? Or when I met Marak in the jungles of Colovia? Everything is gone now and I don't know anymore. So what's up with the floating temple? This is Malala, the high fane of the Iliad. Fanatics brought it here, supposedly so they could dance here, to erase the Eight Divines from Mundit. And how do I get in? There is a monastery of Maruk's followers to the south. There should be a portal underground. You can't use it to escape this wasteland, but it will bring you to Malada. However, Maruk's followers have gone mad a long time ago. They won't let you use the portal so easily. And what about these fanatics? They like to be called Marukati Selective. They hate all else. Everything connected to Anuiel, really. You may be a fool, but they are much greater fools. You looking to they get bonked? They hate everything in existence. Just like Molag Ball. Good talking to you, peps. The reason I quicksave was in order to use the weapon's art, but what the frick? Why are you like this? That guy is gross. Like that, and sort of the sorcerer, and that. Crestfallen Knight of the Nine. Okay. I don't believe for a second that this man would have had 
Actually, we can go and test that, can't we? Let's go ahead and do that after we pick his body clean. Scroll of Gravity Sphere. Target is pulled into the air by a floating sphere of high mass for 60 seconds. Doesn't really do much for me when I when I fist, so yeah. But let's take this opportunity to make a hard save. And then we reload to see just how much money he had 1869 or 96 on him. So let's see how much he has on him if I fist him. First off, let's re-equip. Fist of the Dirt Nap, that's Paralysis. Fist of infinite fisting, or fist uh, no, finger of death makes them explode. All right, I didn't put death to the dead on here. Get up. was not a fight. He also wasn't considered undead. He had 61 gold on him. Do I have to kill bosses with that weapon now? Because I'll do it. Picking up a thousand gold for free off of this? Come on. Actually, I just want to steal the enchantment off the weapon now. Great Sword of the Sorcerer. Well. That was a nice experiment and all, but let's get back to having that extra 1,000, shall we? Okay, let's see what the Great Sword of the Sorcerer does. Probably just steals. Yeah. Yeah, I'll totally sell that one. I think I have that effect anyway. That enchantment, I mean. There's nothing else here. Right? Doesn't seem to be anything to be seen up there anyway. I'm bleeding apparently. Or maybe that was just on the rocks already. Whatever. We came from that way. Okay, not a fan of that. Great. The door was expert locked, but this is novice, which means nothing in here is going to be all that good. Maybe I should have hit the chest with the hammer before we opened it. Lightning cloak. Sure, why not? I'm going to go ahead and forget that I even have that for a while, like I did the other one I used while putting stuff away in the chest. Oh. Oh, that floating thing. Oh, okay. He said there was a portal... Under where? There is a monastery. A mon you can't so, use it to escape this. It's a monastery to the south. 
So I just have to keep going this way. Good. Hopefully that works. <laughs> No. Well, a guy can hope. Why do they have... I'm going to go ahead and take these. These might actually end up being used for something. Banish living. Banish a living creature to oblivion. Items are lost forever. So that's in the right hand now. Okay. First off, you have to go. Of course, the idiot using magic survives. Oh, look who joined us. Oh, somebody just got hentied. Oh, that is... Oh, everything about this we this weapon right here makes this entire mod worth it just in itself. To say nothing of the fact that you can impregnate yourself with tentacles. Oh, it's just... Oh. Mm. Okay, hammer, hammer, hammer. <coughs> that way we don't have to come back in here for it. Just making sure we don't have any negative effects on us from having been injured during the fight. I am going to love this weapon with our next... Interesting. I'm going to love this weapon with our next build. Hey, ladies. I had to turn away before I hit that man in his... This guy is disgusting. I may have made a mistake having him join me. Hey, but these guys are still human, so can't I blow them up? Hmm? Cool, but I'm not going down there yet. I first want to clear this place out. Move, move, move around it. Okay. Also, you have the ability to take his helmet, which I don't know if it'll actually remove his head or not. Because honestly, 
That is a face you see in your nightmares. It just is. to reap the rewards. That is why you sneak attack. That is what sneak attacks... That makes sneak attacks worth doing. Ooh. Ooh, that is just... It's, oh, it's paying for itself. Despite the trouble I have to go through to actually make it worth using. So, oh, this way. Oh, you've been left all alone to guard. He resisted secret savings. Again. And again. And again. Well, no, he didn't resist at that time. Sprig and sap. <sighs> so which way do we go? Well, hold on doesn't appear to be a lever out here to use to open this gate. And it's too far. This way? Well, it can't be that way though, right? Let me in. There's no lever here and there was nowhere else to go, right? We came in through... This, this way. Yep, definitely this way. So let's see. Head to the center, turn left. There's one. Yeah, there's only one actual path here. I guess we have to take that other door then, don't we? Yeah, I doubt this is going to take me to that lever. And I mean, by the time I get to it, I'll have seen everything I wanted to see on the other side of that door. But did he really resist it? I mean, he had 167 gold on him. Hey, do you want to control yourself a little? I know it's fun. I know it is. Just hold your horses a little. Just a little bit. Oh. He's aware. Mm. 
Ate your chicken breast. Let's make sure this place is cleared out. I don't like surprises. <laughs> Let's make sure we get a potion in here so we don't get one shot because I haven't saved in a while. Steal my kill. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this weapon is paying for itself so many times over. I never need to sell another single thing. All I need to do is go around cleansing the world of all living, all living organisms. That's the word I needed to use. Erase spell. When you cast a spell within ten seconds, the spell vanishes from your spell book. Ah. I don't want that. Or that. Ah, he injured me, so I'm leaking magicka. Well, out of everything I could be leaking, I'd prefer it be that, since I don't actually cast anything. Oh, that's the door we came in through. Curious where that goes, but... This first. I gave him a monster of a weapon. I really did. Also, my sneak is at a hundred. Why are they still able to see me so easily? He might have altered the... He might have altered the values of enemy vision in order to account for bloated sneak values. Come on, open your eyes. What the frick is that behind you? Oh, missed. Deal 2% more damage per dragon soul. Sure wish I had been able to kill him with this hammer. Steals 80 points of armor from every nearby target for 30 seconds. The caster gains the total amount stolen. What the frick? I'm still crouched. That's annoying. Can I guard and then stand back up? Yeah, that should work. Let's 
So, let's either kill you or free you. Right after this cloak wears off. I'd hate to have to kill you by accident. Nope, this place is terrible. Hey, buddy. I promise, if you don't... child, you are not like the others here. You're telling me. What do you want? What exactly was the Alessian Order doing here? They were trying to take my blood, but for better or worse, that curse made it impossible. I guess that sort of explains why you're imprisoned here, huh? A blood curse took my wings. It was... It was a very long fall. I remember nothing since falling into the Black Sea. The last thing I saw... The Owl. Horrible grin of the Owl. Why can you understand me? Yes. After losing my wings, the people here tried to tame me. I forgot the language I was born with. Now I can barely remember my own name. So... Uh, can I help you at all, or...? Can you open the roof? It feels so stuffy in here. That doesn't even seem to be remotely possible. How did they even get you in here? I mean, I can see, but... I doubt it. Let's use candlelight so I don't miss anything. There it is. Kind of annoying that I passed it on the way around. right here. I don't know what that did, but do you feel better? Ah, uh, I feel better. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, what do you want? So, did you have any friends, or... There were. We all served kind, but they are all gone now. They could not bear the pain of the blood curse. They were deceived by the owl and turned to stone. So you served kind? Yes. We abandoned Lord Alderaid and chose to live with kind and the mortals. It was our mission to protect Kind's garden. But we failed. And I mean, why not ask again? I must not forget Kai's garden. Nameless white flowers bloom there. How I miss their fragrance. But a flower like this could never bloom in this wasteland. It is impossible. Please forget what I said. I don't remember seeing anything. I don't what see. Do you want? 
I don't remember seeing anything like that, so I'm going to make a hard save here so I remember this guy's face. So he wants a flower. White flower. That supposedly shouldn't even bloom here. But I'm betting it's out here somewhere. And who knows, I've probably passed it numerous times. It wouldn't be on someone, so... I don't know why he's stuck crouching. The only way to fix that is to teleport somewhere. This is not where I wanted to go. That's the way we came in. So now I have to keep an eye out for a flower in addition to the treasure chests that can blend in with the environment. Good. Wonderful. I'm cool with that. I vaguely remember seeing a white flower, but I don't know if it's... if it's a holdover from playing... Did I do this? I'm pretty sure I did. I remember the lever on the door. And I'm not sure if it's a holdover from playing the Forgotten City that had the white flower suspended above the lake. It could be. Because I don't remember any other details about where the flower may have been. Monastery of Holy Brothers of Maruk. Also, let's not forget that the portal to their floating castle, or whatever the frick it is, is underneath their Inquisition Court, I believe it was called. And the only way to get there is through the well that's out front. Thankfully, we have... do we have a fast travel to it? Ada Ball. Frankly, I'm just looking for someone to hit with my hammer right now. The hammer that I don't have equipped, mind you. Zenithar, so it'll be at the bottom. Frankly, I want to kill the dragon in order to see what it has on it, but I'd also rather actually just help it. So we'll go with that last one for now. Oh, I guess he noticed me. Weird, with my sneak being at 100. What happened to you? Magic users, magic users are obnoxious. With this weapon, I get to make people pay me for the trouble of killing them. It is so good. I actually want to rush back to the witch, the witch's place, and see if I can disenchant this. I may have ignored it while in a rush to... Oh, there's a portal down there while in a rush to enchant more fists with silly things. He died hard, didn't he?
Oh, we leveled up. I mean, we're supposed to be using our fists, but I'm just having so much fun making free money. And it's not an insignificant amount of money, either. A nether lich. Summons a nether lich for 180 seconds that inflicts a damaging disease, lowers skill levels, and raises the dead. He does it all, doesn't he? Too bad this idiot didn't use it himself. Ho 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 ho! Expert, huh? God dang. Sure, why not? That's worth it. This, this, alteration. Dramora Mentor. Choose a magic school and summon a Dramora Mentor for 90 seconds. It does not fight, but offers tra training in the chosen school and imp and the school improves 20% faster. Actually, that is huge. Shadow Bond. Caster and target gain invisibility for 23 seconds. That's actually pretty cool. I can't think of a single instance in which I would actually use it, but sign me up. And this one we're going to go ahead and use right now. Okay, so what school of magic do we want this guy to teach us? You know, that... that you know, magic, that thing I don't actually use. Okay, so we're instead not going to use it, at least here. I don't know what's wrong, but I've got bonking to do. broken. Great. Satisfying. Scroll of Cloak Other. Oh, wait. So if this is the mother fricking Why did I crouch? Anyway, so if this is the way to the portal that leads to the floating castle, where did the well go?
God, that weapon is glorious. Anyway, that is going to do it for us today, ladies and gentlemen. I know, I know, it's not enough. But, we do record this every single day, and there will be, since this is going up Friday, there will be more over the weekend, because I like playing and recording this game. So, we will have one video on Saturday and one video on Sunday. Both will release at the exact same time each day at 4.45 in the afternoon. I don't know what that's going to be for you, but what the frick ever. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves and all of the bonking you've seen here and just the just the gold getting that we've been oh anyway I, I hope you enjoyed all of the bonking and the backstabs and just the just the sounds that weapon makes is it is the best weapon in this mod it has to be And so with all that said, we will see you next time.